Welcome back. Now, do you know exactly how your home loan works? When it comes to making additional payments, not only banks or even facilities are the same. So to shed some light on this, we have personal finance guru, that's my Fisher French, joining us this morning. My good to have you. And good morning to you. And that's precisely the question. I mean, what happens if you make additional payments into your mortgage? Are these then prepaid funds available for you to withdraw? It's such a great point that you you and Gareth raised earlier about people wanting to access it for solar, you know, to put in solar power for, for um, load shedding, because mm. I'm getting so many questions around this. And I, it must be tying into that, or possibly people are just feeling the pinch, they want to access those funds. So I think the first thing, the most important thing is, of course, you have to have an access bond. So you need to check first, is it do I just have a normal facility or do I have an access bond that will actually allow me to access money that I've paid in over and above my normal installment? And then the extent to which the money is available all depends. And I tell you, this is really confusing. So you're going to have to hold on, hang in here with me. <laughs> so it depends. Each bank has different facilities. Each bank treats it differently. So mm. some banks, for example, they calculate your, install, your monthly installment based on your outstanding balance. So what that means is that if you pay in additional funds, your outstanding balance reduces, so does your installment. So your installment decreases every time you add in more money. But that means that your available funds are also decreasing because effectively they're offsetting that lower installment. So you're not going to be able to take out all. So if you maybe put in a lump sum of 100,000, you're not necessarily going to get back the whole 100,000, mm. depending on, on how long the money's been in, how long you've benefited from that lower installment. So that's if the bank is using the outstanding balance. If the bank is using, is basing the, ins the installment on your amortization balance, that means in English that it's based on your original repayment agreement. So your installment doesn't decrease and therefore the funds should remain fully available. Um, and that's very important. So if you've, and of course, it's a little more tricky with all interest rates moving. This is assuming interest rates don't change. But if your original agreement was going to be 10,000 Rand a month and that doesn't change, then you can still access those full funds. But what, where I've been picking up a lot of confusion is some of the banks, <laughs> it changes again when interest rates change. So for example, I picked up a lot around Standard Bank because even though they have um, a facility where they don't reduce your installment and you can get your full balance, when interest rates change, they actually reset the loan, uh, which means that the amortization balance now matches the outstanding balance and actually no, your, your installment will be lower than it would have been and it starts to tap into your prepaid amount. And in that case, you actually have to go and instruct the bank every time interest rates change to mm. say, no, please, stick with the original installment and that's where i've been picking up a lot of confusion people have come along and said okay i want to access those funds but interest rates have been going up and in a sense they haven't seen the full full increase in their installment that they would have seen because it's been offset by those pre-funds very complicated as i said so really the best thing is to go and say to the bank what is actually available for me to withdraw at this moment so, so Ma, if you don't then have an excess bond and have and rather you want to withdraw your additional funds should you switch to an access bond? Not necessarily. I spoke to the, the banks about this, and there's obviously costs involved, and it also, you know, as, I, as you can understand, access bonds aren't always that simple. They all said to me the best thing you can do is if you have paid in additional funds and you don't have an access bond, you can ask for something called a readvance, and that allows the bank to then draw into that uh, those additional prepaid funds. In fact, you could even do a little bit more. You could go back to your full facility. So that's what I would suggest is that if you're wanting to access funds, especially as we spoke about, maybe don't have an access bond but you want to put in solar power um, you can go to the bank and say i'd like to do a re-advance um, it'll work out a lot more cost effective um, than going and switching and changing it to a whole new bond structure